I'm Ryan McCaffrey for IGN News. 3D printers are now readily available for consumer use, meaning any old Joe or Jane can buy one and include the Z-axis in their printing projects. While the process is perfect for printing off things such as the housing for a custom-designed touchscreen Pip-Boy, many people see the future of 3D printing as less science fiction and more food science. Of course, 3D printed food is not a new concept. At CES 2015, IGN even got a chance to try a 3D printed pizza to order. Our intrepid team saw dinosaur candies printed to order from the same device that then printed out a pizza, as though the very laws of nature could bend to its whims. Edible growth is more for the foodies than junk food. Chloe Rutzerveld, a graduate of the Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands, told Wired she believes that food printing technology should be used for, quote, actual food. That's where edible growth comes in. A tiny structure of dough-like substance is printed and coated for crispness, then a soil substitute derived from algae jelly infused with mushroom or watercress spores is added. Are you still following me here? After a few days, the spores sprout and a tiny edible garden is right there, waiting to be consumed. The little one-stop shop printed garden still needs some work before they'll be market ready. Rutzerveld told Wired that printing edible food presents an architectural problem as the support needed for the structures is more than can currently be provided. Ironing out the kinks in the process could take a decade, Rutzerfeld said. In the meantime, why not print off a pizza and start a chia pet? For all your weird food news, keep it right here to IGN.